<laughs> yeah, you're full set type of guy, dude. What did he do? You hit another mud hole or what? Yeah, I hope my windows down. Dude, look at that. A little bit of regret. <laughs> hey, it's all for fun, right? Yep. Jesus, it's coated over here. Oh, so you can wipe everything down? Yeah, all over everything. Dude, that's hilarious. So today we are showing off this Jeep and we're gonna hit some local trails and we're going with my friend Ethan here. Hey. What's going on, man? You excited? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. So this is his Jeep right here. What year is this? Uh, 2001. This is a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is a limited, but it does have the inline six. And you're running what on this? Uh, Rough country lift? Yeah, rough yeah. country four inch. The interesting part is with the limited on the inline six, it did come with a 247 transfer case. You recently did swap that out, right? Yeah, I swapped yeah. it over to the 242. 242. I okay. wanted two wheel drive to be a goon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be able to drift a little bit better. Yeah. And then uh, you have a limited slip on this one, correct? No. No? Just no limited slip. Oh, okay. You're going, you want to, though. Yeah. You want to. Yeah. Yeah, upgrade to the Dana 44A and yeah, you'll be set. And you're running what, 32s on this? 31. 31s, okay. And up here you have the VIJ bumper, right? This is off of eBay? And how was the install on that? Pretty easy? Yeah, yeah. it took me a couple hours, but yeah. it looks good now. Yeah. <laughs> Better than the stock bumper? Oh yeah. Yeah, and then we're gonna go on to the back over here. So on the back, he did upgrade the tail lights and the third brake light as well, matching the smoked, right? It looks yeah. way better than the stock. Oh, heck yeah. And these actually work compared to the stock ones. You always get the bulbs that go out yep. because of the contacts. And then something else I did is mine didn't come with the phone package, so I ended up installing that. Oh yeah. And I uh, cut it with the knife. With the, the knife? Uh, yeah. <laughs> on the back of the bumper though, if you guys didn't know, it is like, there is a line that shows you where to, to cut it, right? Yep. Yeah, so you can follow that guide. I follow it the best of my ability. Yeah, with the knife, yeah. <laughs> so I had to do the same thing on my Jeep. I actually did uh, cut out the bumper. Currently, I'm not running a bumper, but if you don't have a hitch, uh, you can get one out of junkyard, or you can even do the warranty replacement, right? Or the, what is it, the recall? The recall. Yeah, the recall. You can do the recall as well, and they'll do that for you. We're still gonna go hit some trails. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Dude, you had mud coming out at the top from the bottom of your bumper. <laughs> All the dried mud. <laughs> yeah. That's dope, dude. It's not too bad. She has to go four wheel. Not too bad, yeah. When you have four wheel drive, I just have a locker in the rear, no front wheel, no front drive shaft, so. Not too bad though, right? <laughs> yeah you're full set type of guy dude yeah, <laughs> we are doing a giveaway on the website so every dollar is an entry for the month of january starting january 1st to the end of january so make sure you get entered if you guys want those grills anyways let's get back to the video so i just tried going up this and i got stuck around there i don't have four wheel drive so it is what it is of that yeah my transmission's overheating <laughs> yeah i bet <laughs> what do you think about that one that's probably one of the hardest that was here intimidating yeah it's not bad though i mean if you have four-wheel drive it'll make it up but yeah. i don't so <laughs> i got stuck halfway I scraped a couple times yeah that's normal don't worry about that yeah. <laughs> i can see your bumper for sure it's definitely scraping right here oh shit <laughs> oh yeah and over here too you bet the metal dude <laughs> oh it's fine. You can always hammer that back into place. Yep. Oh, the biggest thing though, I'm going to show you guys a little tip. You see how it's like cutting up the tire here? So there's a lip on the bottom of this. I recommend cutting slits and then bending it up. Okay. That's what I did on my Jeep and it does not hit here. I did not slit mine. So mine's like kind of bad on the edge, but it is flattened up here. 
and that's so it doesn't cut the tires up right here just a little tip all right so thanks ethan for coming through and let me show you the local spots here he yeah, doesn't man. live too far from me so no. uh we were able to meet up and do a couple trails and what do you think about the trails they're not hard right oh no no i'm impressed with mine <laughs> It went through like crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, the way you send it, man. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.